Hello, Active Sage here on the Sage channel. And I'm here today to, of course, show you another block added to the Industrial Cockpits and More mod. And this is the long awaited connector. It took me ages and ages to get it done, some technical difficulties, and who knows whatever else, as well as the standard, well, monthly dog seizures and running around in circles and spending oodles and oodles of money on trying to keep me puppety alive. Well, excuses out of the way, let's get onto the actual thing in front of us. I'm very happy with this, actually. Very happy. Very happy with it. If you look at the model, I've gone ahead and actually on the front of this beveled up some of the edges a little bit more than usual. I was seeing some of the stuff the devs are starting to put out finally, and it looks, well, quite nice. So I decided to up some of my poly counts. That said, as far as I know, the LODs still are not working, so I didn't really go all out with it. But I did up the poly count a little bit on it to make it nice. And of course, well, what good is a connector if it just looks pretty with the standard connection points here where it leads from our conveyors into our slightly lower bumped down versions, our shiny blue lights to show that it does exist. A colorable area and then the awesome front accessible door if it doesn't actually work. So down here we have two ships and you see right at the ends of these we have them stuck in here and you see I love the way that it just goes from the large conveyor cuboids here to whoop, just it's like the center piping almost is reaching out. Now we can go ahead and hop into this shape ship right here. But Oh, and by the way, up here in orbit, I do have a construction state on the thing. Ta-da! And it also does have one LOD level, but as I said, I'm pretty sure those don't currently work. And we'll go ahead and fly these ships together, and you'll see that these things do blah, indeed work. And we can, of course, try flying away and yank these with them, or, of course, press P, and now they are locked together. Happy days, eh? And anyway, guys and gals, that is that. That is the latest block to the Industrial Cockpits and More mod. What am I going to add next? Well, I'm not sure. On Patreon, if you follow me there, you will have known some of my thinkings on this, but uh, one of my ideas is that, well, maybe I'll go ahead and finish up the cargo blocks, you know, because it is a bit odd to see the hydrogen tanks and the cargo blocks stuck in here, or maybe I'm going to move on to, and this is really what I spoke about on Patreon, and just making some other mods, other things, starting to work on some other things, because of course, Space Engineers is suddenly going to have a huge poly count up a crease, and suddenly my mods are going to be the ones looking like they're, well, low poly count, I suspect. So I might be thinking about doing some other things, because this mod might end up finding itself, well, not necessarily discontinued, once the devs update everything with their new texturing nonsense and actually put out a decent tutorial on telling how everything works. Uh, since they are changing some things, this mod currently breaks in the dev build. It's fairly confusing when they change things so frequently, but it has to be done, I guess, for progress of the game overall. Well, then I'll go ahead and update this mod, make sure it works in the latest versions of the game. For the current time being, though, expect this to work only in stable until they get some tutorial videos out there, I guess. Or maybe not videos, but just, well, thingamajigs. Hmm. Anyway, guys and gals, that is that. Uh, for the end of the video, let me just go ahead and say a big thank you to the following people on Patreon. Alexis C, Angel T, Docs Gaming, and Gethin W for signing up to my Patreon. And thank you, of course, everyone else on Patreon who has been supporting me for videos and for this and maybe even a few of you for my pup lad with his seizure nonsense. And as well as these people for direct donations on PayPal, Angel T, again, Connor B, Lawson M, Danny H, cool last name by the way, Jeffrey R, Dylan Fox, I don't think that's a full real name either way by the way, I did give a lad a hug for you, some people asked for me to hug my puppy, I did so if you asked this. Even if you didn't donate, I usually actually do that. <laughs> Give him a hug and say, hey, this is from blah, blah. Enough of that. Uh, and Paul T. Pretty cool last name there, too. Thanks a bunch to everyone who has tried to help me out. And, of course, thank you for the continued support of those on Patreon. Enough of that babbling, I think. Anyway, as I said, next up, we're probably either going to finish off a few of these little blocks here that you can see. Maybe our own reactor, but for sure our own hydrogen tank, if I continue this mod right now. And our own oxygen or hydrogen generators, if I continue this mod right now. 
a little bit um, out of it because of the changes to dev build and whatnot, causing mods to break left, right, and center. A bit stressy, stressy, stressful. Anyway, guys and gals, that'll be it for this video. Thanks a bunch for watching, and I shall see you all next time. This is funny to me. Look at it. Ta-ta.